No one could have convinced me that after just over six years, I will have my own book entitled Live Your Dreams. Just over six years, I will have five specials on public television. Just over six years, I've done motivational speaking for AT&T, Procter & Gamble, McDonald's Corporation, Xerox, IBM, just over six years. I will now have my own talk show that will premiere on Monday, Labor Day. I'm saying to you, your dream is possible. Your dream is possible. But not only is it important that you believe and begin to know that it's possible for you to live your dream as you run toward it, but I've done something that I want to share with you called Choosing Your Future. In fact, I've developed a set of tapes talking about how to begin to create your own reality by choosing your future. And not only is it important for you to know it's possible for you to choose your future, but it's necessary that you work on yourself, that you develop yourself. It's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life. People who don't want anything, people who are not striving, people who are not challenging themselves, people who aren't growing, people who have stopped dreaming. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry, people who are unstoppable and unreasonable, people who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. My mother used to say, birds of a feather flock together. If you run around with losers, you will end up a loser. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. It's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that. That a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation. That you are an uncommon breed. You know, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. That's necessary. It's also, ladies and gentlemen, necessary that you be creative when you're working on your ideas. That you understand the importance of, of changing up of readjusting your strategies. Many times we can have a great idea, but if you're not advancing it in the right way and things don't happen, you become discouraged and think the idea doesn't work. No, that's not true. It's necessary that we become creative. I remember when I was in New York walking down the street and a guy approached me and said, hey, mister, can I shine your shoes? And I said, no, I'm in a hurry. I don't have time. I kept walking. Someone else said, hey, man, your shoes look bloody. May I shine your shoes? I said, no, I don't have time. I'm sorry, I'm busy. And I was walking fast and many people solicited me for my business. And then finally, a young man stepped in front of me and he said, excuse me. And he started counting, 97, 98, 99, 100. He said, sir. I said, yes. He said, come here, please. I said, what is it? He said, today is my birthday. And every year, just to thank God for another year of life, the 100th person who passes by shoe shine stand, I offer them a free shoe shine. Would you give me the honors? I said, why, sure. I got up on the shoe shine stand, George, and I sat there and, and he shined my shoes diligently. And when I got down, I looked at him, they were sparkling. And I was walking away and I said, thank you. And I stopped, I said, excuse me, but how much do you usually charge? He said, only $2. I said, I tell you what, today's your birthday. Here's five, keep the change. He said, thank you. As I was walking away, looking in the opposite direction of other people coming, he started counting again. 97, 98, 99, 100. <laughs> it's necessary that you be flexible, that you are always thinking of how can I improve this better? This is a customer-driven economy. It's necessary for you to always explore various ways in which you can improve the quality of service that you're providing for the people in your organization. I remember something a major company had talked about the extra value service they were providing for their customers. And the lady who had the news conference summarized it this way.